Have you ever wondered, can you take Jesus as your Savior, but not your Lord? Well, what does Lord even mean? Lord means master. It's from the Greek word kurios. It's not an employer. It's not what we want to think of as just a boss. No, it's a ruler, a master in the strictest of terms. But is Jesus both Savior and Lord? Well, according to Acts 2.36, Peter is addressing a large group of Pentecost. And this is what Peter says. Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ. Jesus is both the Savior and the Lord, but, but can't we just accept Jesus as our Savior and not our Lord? This concept cannot be found in Scripture. The notion that Jesus is just a one-way ticket to heaven is not biblical. The Apostle Paul said that when we preach Jesus Christ, we preach Christ Jesus as Lord. So this begs the question, what do people need to do to be saved? Well, the Apostle Paul and Silas answered this very question while in prison. They answered, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. They didn't say, say a prayer. They didn't say, accept Jesus as a one-way ticket to heaven. No, it was believe in the Lord Jesus. Paul would really punch this home in his transformational letter of Romans. He writes this in Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But doesn't his lordship imply my servanthood to him? <laughs> well, of course it does. Paul would refer to himself as a bondservant, a slave who willingly and lovingly sold himself and served his Lord and his King. Jesus is not a magic genie who grants salvation, but the Lord and the Savior who by his grace, he redeems our past, saves our souls, and he changes our lives.